Well, anyone who watched Tom Aspinall work in training and during his amateur and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well. His speed is going to be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight. And most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calbon. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division. Can't get worse. Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, champ. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we looked up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white top. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good scroll. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Iron Mike Tyson has graced the octagon. Tyson is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Tom Espinal. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson! Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. Perhaps Tom Aspinall could win this fight if it was just a kickboxing match, but he has got a decided grappling advantage, and most people believe eventually if this fight hits the floor in transition, Tom Aspinall will be able to find a submission. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. All right, nice takedown there by the more well-rounded fighter and not much resistance from the boxer on that attempt, DC. Well, the level change was so strong. He went from upright to, to down in his wrestling stance so quick that it was hard for the boxer to respond. It was perfect. The timing was as good as it's going to be inside the octagon. Oh. He's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very... Aspinall is trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Triangle choke getting very close. All he's got to do now is pass that on to the opposite side. Pull down on the back of the head, and he'll get his opponent to tap. Short elbow, short elbow. Big ground and pound. Yep, 
got to be very careful there. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Less than two minutes now to go. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. And that one certainly found the target. Continuing to go to the head. Establishing the jab. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Takedown defense is there. Fuck. Horn shouts for the end of round one. You lost that last round. You got the better of you with the striking. You look better than he is. More combinations, more angles, and more head movement. Take that shot. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, round two. Right there, his opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, oh we're getting to finish here. He has to evade Stan Smith. Big right here. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. Once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... Nine.